Wow. We're here. I'm sure many of you have been asked either by friends, family, or a coworker who's a little envious, what is it like to go to Harvard? Describe it. A couple words, I don't have time, but let me know. What is it like? But I want to know, has anybody ever asked you to describe your life experience in just a few words? For me, it's a very simple answer. Have heart. It's something that my parents said to me from my earliest days in life, and it's something that stuck with me my entire life. At just seven months old, I became one of the youngest Americans to go through open heart surgery. This surgery was not guaranteed to be a success, but my parents made it their decision to make it happen. And it cost them a lot. As a matter of fact, this surgery left my family broke for many years, and we struggled in poverty. And there was no guarantee that the surgery would work. The doctors told my parents, who are about my age right now, that their son would have lifelong learning issues, never be able to play competitive sports, and would probably be dead by the time he turned six. I'm proud to say that after playing competitive ice hockey for many years, go Capitals. As previously stated, I decided to serve my country as an officer in the United States Navy, which has been my dream since I was eight years old. And when I had the privilege and honor of leading America's finest into harm's way, and we were dealt with those imperilous and terrible situations that my fellow veterans in the audience know, as an officer, I would repeatedly say to them, have heart and keep going. Now, each of you that is here as a graduate has demonstrated that you have heart, and each of you has an incredible story that is worth being noted forever. But I want to explain what having heart means to me. And being a military person, I like to keep it very simple, and it's three specific words for having heart. And for those of you that are here as graduates, these three words all start with a letter that may seem a bit foreign. They all start with F. <laughs> having heart means being a person of faith, family, and fortitude. Now, each of them is equal, but one of them is the bedrock, and that is faith, which I'd like to start with first. If Al Michaels, Ted Lasso, or I guess even Tom Hanks, were to ask me, the answer is yes. I do believe in miracles. I am living, breathing proof that miracles can happen. It was this faith in the doctors that my parents relied on. It was their faith in God through all those years of hardship that they relied upon to see what would happen. And it is this faith that I will talk about. Though each of us is unique and has our own interpretations of faith, I firmly believe that they are more similar than they are different. I have faith that each of us is unique, beautiful, and loved. I have faith that each person here exists for a reason, and is that reason to make the world a better place. I also have faith that when one door shuts, an even better one opens on an opportunity that will lead us even closer to our dreams and towards something we never could have imagined. And finally, I have faith 
that when things seem insurmountable or extremely difficult, we have to believe in ourselves. Think about it this way. Harvard University, the greatest and most prestigious university in the world, had faith in you when you received your acceptance letter to this university. Faith is something that carried me through my darkest days of many failures, whether it was learning a new language, going to one of the most difficult and demanding and terrifying cities on the planet, or through those many days away from my loved ones. It was not easy, but it got me through. And it was a chance to be a better person, not only for myself, but for my family, which is what I'll talk about next the second tenet of having heart. Family is everything. Today is a celebration of you, the class of 2023. This is your time. <laughs> but as each of us knows, it was not an easy road. And there are a lot of moments where the fear and anxiety creeped in. Maybe it was that method, or excuse me, moment in your research methods class where you're like, I have no idea what I just learned today. <laughs> or maybe it was that moment where you're waiting to see how the semester turned out and your GPA was just above that 3.0 threshold to stay in the game and in the fight. Or maybe it was that moment, and I'm sure each of us had those moments, where you just saw yourself in the mirror after a long day and you're like, you know what? Harvard is for someone spectacular but it's not for me. I need to quit. Who got you through those moments? It was your family. Whether blood or those that we surrounded ourselves with, it was our family that got us through those times. It was our families that shook us back into the game and said, you can do this. And it is our families that are gathered here with us to celebrate this momentous achievement of a lifetime. To our families, I say thank you for your unending support and letting us pursue our dreams. Now, we have sacrificed quite a bit to be here on this glorious day, but so have our families. It is now our turn as graduates to have heart and stand by our families so they can achieve their dreams, too. It will not be easy to make this happen. You will now have everybody asking you, how can I get into Harvard? How can I do this? Talk to me while you're distracted trying to help your families out and maintain your job, because as Harvard Extension students, each of us knows that we might be done with graduating, but the work never ends. It will take fortitude to make this happen, and that is the last component of having heart. We are Harvard graduates. We stand on the shoulders of those that built this university's proud reputation of academic excellence, that built nations and challenged the norms. We are no different. Harvard University expects each of us to do this and to maintain this proud reputation that we are forced to uphold. Do not be afraid. If 
you find those moments where the next future goal seems impossible, remember to have heart and to keep going and rely on that fortitude. It will carry the day it carried you through to this point already. And if you fail, so what? As I said earlier, it will lead you to a moment beyond your wildest dreams. I can say that also with a little bit of clarity because I stand before you after having one of the greatest failures of my life. I was not supposed to be a Harvard student. As a matter of fact, I was supposed to be an instructor teaching naval science at another Ivy League institution that will not be named in Connecticut. <laughs> but some person there who will not be named said I was unworthy of teaching at that institution because of physics grades I received as a midshipman, as an undergraduate student. I'm very thankful for that because I can think of thousands of people that went to Yale and wish they went to Harvard. <laughs> but I can't think of anybody who went to Harvard that wished they went to Yale. All right, to wrap this up, we have 1,400 people we need to get through. So um, having heart, again, means being a person of faith, family, and fortitude. You all have achieved an incredible milestone in life and something that you should be proud of forever. But this is just the beginning. Each of you has another dream. I'm sure something you thought of that you're like, ah, maybe next year, my five-year plan's turning into a 15-year plan, or you know, once things settle down, now is the time to seize the opportunity and go after that dream. While at Harvard, each of us identified a passion and honed our skills to be better people. As one of my favorite people of all time, Ignatius of Loyola said, Go set the world on fire with those passions to make it a better place, hopefully for future generations. I'm very fortunate to be here with my wife, the most amazing person I've ever met. My father is here as well. But most of all, I'm proud to have my two children who are here. Who just so happened to be around the same age I, went, I was when I went through open heart surgery almost 30 years ago. I promise to my children to make the world a better place as best I can. A place where they feel like they can succeed and achieve their dreams, as my parents did for me. And for each of you gathered here, whether your parents or not, you have those loved ones that you can rely on in order to help them out too. And in the future, when all the pomp and circumstance goes away, and we, the class of 2023, drift into memory of a proud tradition of excellence here at Harvard, and you have to go towards your next dream, and the odds seem stacked against you, remember, always, always, always have heart. Thank you. <laughs>